let me first ask Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, you know, is it really a coincidence that uh, all the raids that happen uh, happen at the opposition party's leader? It's a question often raised uh, by the Congress party, by the Trinamool Congress and other political parties in the opposition, number one. Number two, uh, these raids, uh, when they come just ahead of the Congress plenary, there's a special plot that Mr. Jairam Ramesh has alleged the BJP has. Uh, and of course, some people say that you're extremely nervous of the Bharat Jodo Yatra's success. Which one of these three uh, has actually uh, been the reason for these raids, uh, latest raids in Chhattisgarh? So, uh, first of all, Navika, you ask a two-year-old child and he would tell you the most corrupt party in India is the Congress party and the most corrupt political parivar is the Gandhi parivar. And why do I say that? Let me substantiate. Can you name one more political family where three members of the family are out on bail on corruption charges? Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi and Robert Vadra. That's point number one. Two, you are questioning the timing. I would like to ask you, we have made it very clear that CBI, ED, IT, these are not caged parrots like they used to be during the Congress era. And this I am not saying. The Supreme Court has said. Now they are independent and they take decisions regarding raids. And if these people are corrupt, then they should be behind bars. And they ought to be because they've looted the country. Third, I gave a challenge to the representative from the Congress. Nine years, there have been multiple actions by the CBI, by the ED. Can they show me one judgment of the Supreme Court or the High Court, which has quashed the proceedings of the CBI, the ED, of any Congress leader or a corrupt leader from the opposition? And the answer is none. And if they can show me, I think it would be a very, very worthy response from the spokesperson of a very unworthy party. Well, uh, Mr. Vivek Bansal, yes. Mr. Vivek Bansal, if the Enforcement Directorate is to be believed, uh, and, and I'm telling you the statement that's been put out uh, by uh, our sources in the ED, 170 crore worth of Benami assets ha uh, have been purchased, and these are under the lens. Of these, 36 crores have been transferred to Soumya Chorasya, and she happens to be in uh, the... Uh, she happens to be uh, somebody who's in the chief minister's office. Four crores are paid to Chhattisgarh MLAs. That's the allegation. Six crores to ex-MLAs and other netas. Four crores sent to Bengaluru. 277 crore total entries have been seen in the scam. And some senior politician also gets about 52 crore rupees. Now, this is serious uh, money we are talking about. And this is a serious... Uh, uh, you know, scam uh, if if it really is proved uh, as as per the records of uh, the enforcement directorate. Why why would you make this into a political statement if it's an investigation that the agencies are doing? Why not uh, we 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 consider it to be political? Reason being, all ED's investigations is going against the party, against Congress party only, as if. Uh, all Harishans are in this uh, in the ruling party. And let me tell Gaurav Bhatia ji, any two year when you are talking about any two year old child, anybody can say that how ED is functioning. As far as ED cases against uh, Gandhi family is considered, they are just to you know harass. Nothing has been no indict strictures have been no indictment has been there, and they would keep on hanging like that just to create pressure. And this is this is what is. The politics of the BJP dispensation is concerned. And you are calling our party Can to I be unworthy. To him, Next day, earlier you used to... You used to uh, vouch Bhatia, for, uh, is this just party pressure party tactics? Party. You haven't you haven't really proved any cases. Robert Vadra is roaming free. The Gandhis are roaming free. There are no convictions. Question being raised by the Congress party. Okay. Yes. Navika, first point is that uh, I think the Congress leader is not aware that uh, National Herald case, the Gandhi Parivar is out on bail and they moved the Supreme Court 
for quashing of the complaint itself the supreme court refused to quash number one two if you feel that there are any corrupt leaders in any party nobody has stopped you from being a responsible party and a citizen you can always ask for a cbi investigation why aren't you we doing are that and third and most importantly when in this case please don't speak in between sir please do not speak in between sir let us respect each other let us wait for our turn please so navika third point is when the ed okay fine i got your point sorry now speak okay uh, can i make my last point navika my last point is this if the ed is acting and ed is acting against the corrupt how is it that the congress is in so much pain ye rishta kya kehlata hai ye to janta puchegi na agar corrupt pe karwai ho rahi hai to congress party ko dard kyu ho raha hai all the leaders in raipur and in delhi were so disturbed today as if they have really you know uh, admitting their guilt and that is why they are doing press conferences let law take its own course and we'll see that, you know everything would be clear and i'm not 